In the aftermath of the Halo Infinite campaign reveal, more and more information seems to be flooding in from various sources. Everyone is rushing to 343 updates, gaming outlets, and even YouTubers who had exclusive discussions with the developers for the most up-to-date and in-depth information regarding what we saw this past Thursday. And while most things I've seen have been positive for Halo Infinite, I cannot get over one thing I've come across. In a 343 blog post following the campaign reveal, 343 talks about how they had a broad flighting program in mind for Halo Infinite. However, how they're currently moving forward is not the full program they envisioned due to the pandemic that has occurred this year and how that has changed their development. They are apparently working with confidential groups of community representatives in regards to actual hands-on playtesting, which, uh, hello, how do I sign up? And in their words, the team is still working and assessing options for broader hands-on opportunities before launch, and we'll share an update when we can. They go on to say that the flighting process doesn't stop after launch, and this rubs me the wrong way. It's great that they plan to continue flights and working on the game post-launch, but who cares by then? It could be too late. This can't be another shitstorm release that has flights to try and retroactively fix the game. It needs to be flighted beforehand and fixed before launch. This tweet from Tommy Koss couldn't sum up my thoughts any better. In regards to a GameSpot article stating that 343 can no longer commit to a public flighting beta test for Infinite, TK says, Halo Infinite needs a public beta. Do not make the same mistake you did with Halo 4. We don't want to purchase a $500 console, a $600 game, and other accessories to beta test a game that's been in development for nearly five years. Look, I'm not here to point fingers, or throw shade as the kids say these days, and I'm not really one to call people out. But does anyone remember Bonnie Ross saying there will never be another Halo game to launch without a beta? And as our Lord and Savior Cortana once said, Don't make a girl a promise you can't keep. At the end of the day, you can't say that you'll never launch a Halo game without a beta again, and then go ahead and launch the biggest Halo game ever made without a beta. I still have PTSD from buying a $500 Xbox One, dropping $60 for MCC, and spending 6 hours getting into one single match made game of 3v1 Team Slayer on MCC's release night. That absolutely cannot happen again. I'm not paying to playtest your game. The Halo brand cannot take another PR hit like the MCC. I know that a lot goes into these decisions. I'm very understanding that the work environment for developers isn't ideal with them being forced to work from home. Undoubtedly, there have been numerous unforeseen challenges that have pushed development back behind schedule. And because of that, I am okay with the game being delayed so that it has sufficient time to be released in an optimal and completed state. But it seems like that isn't on the table for Halo. Microsoft wants Halo Infinite to sell consoles. It was made to be a launch title for the Xbox Series X. My biggest fear is that there's a bunch of clowns in a boardroom, running numbers, and coming to the conclusion that the backlash they receive from bugs or missing content in Halo Infinite is irrelevant to the potential lost console sales of the Xbox Series X during the coveted holiday season. Boo hoo! But what these executives don't see is the intangible damage done to Halo as a franchise for constantly putting out unfinished and sometimes outright broken products. You just can't put a number on that. I felt at one point that 343 turned a new leaf and started showing that they understood what the community wanted out of Halo Infinite. I think things such as the grassroots program to support creators, as well as going back to the classic art style and making Infinite a spiritual reboot of the franchise were prime examples of this. But as these positive things were being touted around, 
Halo MCC PC continuously had games launched with missing content, buggy, or sometimes completely broken. And these launches are after excessive playtesting via the Halo Insider program. I have no problems defending 343 in situations that warrant it. But the more I see about Halo Infinite's launch, the more skeptical I am that the game is going to launch in a completed state without any game-breaking issues. MCC PC has had bad launch after bad launch other than the recent Halo 3 edition, and I've always felt that they were just rushing the games out to get them out before Infinite. But they wouldn't do that to Infinite. Not THE next Halo game. The game that is going to sell consoles and bring people back to the best gaming franchise ever created. Right? Well, I feel like we find ourselves back in the same position a generation ago. When everyone thought that the Master Chief Collection was going to save Halo from being forgotten. Just to be completely disappointed. I'm not saying that no infinite beta means that Halo Infinite is going to be a catastrophic failure. Maybe the five years they've taken to make this game has resulted in a truly polished product, and with COVID they just didn't have enough time to flight it. Maybe they really think the game is in a finished state and are okay with launching without a beta. But all I'm saying is that it doesn't instill confidence in me seeing a game that we've been waiting on for five years and has obviously encountered issues via a global pandemic not being beta tested by the millions of people that are planning on buying the game. To me, it just stinks of them being scared of what people will find. Either because the game's so unfinished that people won't buy it, or because they'll be forced to delay the game past console release and miss out on the holiday sales window. Either way, the beta is the only way consumers can be sure that they aren't going to be buying a broken product this fall. As they say, a delayed game will eventually be great, but a rushed game will forever be bad. Or however that saying goes. The point is that you only have one chance to make a good first impression. And if the rumors are true that Halo Infinite is going to be the platform for Halo for the next 10 years, it seems that the fate of the Halo franchise relies heavily on a successful launch of Halo Infinite. So please 343, don't go back on your word. Give us a public beta test of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Because if you don't, I'm going to complain about it on a YouTube video that gets 300 views, and probably still buy your stupid console and broken game on release night for hundreds of dollars. Jesus Christ, I'm part of the problem. I hate myself.